So hi hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to download a Sentinel 2A image using Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to download the Sentinel 2A image using a Google Earth Engine, first we have to load our Sentinel 2A image into Earth Engine. So to load our Sentinel 2A image into Earth Engine, we have to define a variable called image equals to double dot image collection Copernicus S2 refers to Sentinel 2 SR. So this specific code will insert our Sentinel 2A image into Earth Engine. So next we have to specify with a specific time uh, specific time period uh, time period that is dot filter date 2020 January 1 2020 December 30. So next we have to filter with, with uh, cloud uh, uh, cloud contamination lesser than 10 percent. So I filtered with the cloud contamination less than 10 percent. For that I define dot filter double dot filter LT cloud pixel percentage less than 10 percent 10 so next we have filtered with us using a specific study area using a filter bound so for that define dot filter bound roi so roi here represents the region of interest so our roi represents our region of interest that is our study area so that are that is shown here so this is our region of interest so this is a specific portion where we're going to uh, portion of the satellite sentinel 2a image we're going to download from google earth engine so this is our study area that is our region of interest which is represented as roi and suppose if you want to obtain a median image so this timeline starts from january to december so in order to obtain a median image a median or uh, between uh, from january to this uh, december so to obtain a median image from January to December, we have used a function called dot median function. So we uh, we will obtain a median uh, between median image from uh, that is we will obtain a single image from January to December. Suppose if you don't want to obtain a median image, you can simply use this uh, remove this code or you can uh, type this particular. So next we have to set our visualization parameter. So to set a visualization parameter for our Sentinel 2A image, we have defined a variable called visparam true. That is visualization parameter true color composite. So variable uh, define a variable called vis, uh, visparam true equals to bands. So to define a visualization parameter, we defined a variable called visparam true equals to bands. So band four, band three, and band two. So, so band 4, band 3 and band 2. Now let me show you the bands of Sentinel 2A image. So these are, it is a bands of Sentinel 2A image, band 4, band 3 and band 2, red, green and blue. That is our true color composite. So now we set a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of around 2500 and we set a gamma value around 1.1. So next to add our Sentinel 2A image into Earth Engine, that is to add this layer into Earth Engine, we have to define map.add layer image. So image here refers to our Sentinel 2A image. This param true, uh, which uh, represent our visualization parameter, and we'll output the layer name as Sentinel 2A image. So next we have to add our that is our clipped study area image into Earth Engine. So we are specifically clipping our Sentinel 2A image based on our study area so this is our study area so we are clipping sentinel 2 image based on our study area so second layer will be our clipped study area that is we are clipping our sentinel 2 image based on our study area boundary so that is we define map.add layer image dot clip roi so roi represents our region of interest so the ROI here represents this is our region of interest that is our study area and uh, our visualization so the visparam here represents the visualization parameter for our sentinel 2a image so that is which represents this is our visualization parameter band 4 band 3 band 2 and minimum and maximum values and output the uh, layer as study area so now to center this layer we have to define map dot center object ROI so ROI represents our study area, the zoom level of 10. And to export the Sentinel 2A image to our uh, Google Drive, we have to define 
export.image.toDrive. So we have to specify image as an image dot int 60 function and description that is our sentinel 2a image for our study area Chennai with a spatial resolution of around 10 meters. So band 4, uh, band 4, band 3 and band 2 of sentinel 2a image has a spatial resolution of 10 meters and the region will be our ROI that is our this is our ROI the green here represents our ROI and set our maximum pixel to 1 into 10 power 13 that is 1 into 10 power 13 pixels so suppose if you want to create your own study area simply let me show you that let me remove this so suppose if you want to define your, your own study area so, so you have to go to this option called draw a rectangle click this so now let me choose a color so I will choose a green color click OK so now let me draw a study area so this is our study area so you can see in the top section it is defined as a variable geometry polygon it is a polygon and four vertices it has a four vertices so now let me uh, rename this variable geometry to variable ROI that is our region of interest so this is our ROI so let me name as from geometry to ROI so I have named as uh, name now variable that is our ROI as variable ROI represents our study area so now uh, let us run this code so now go to the option called run script click run script so now you can clearly able to view that our sentinel 2a image is being loaded in our earth engine so we have two different layer one represents the sentinel 2a image of entire scene for the study area for this particular area and also a clipped uh, clipped version of our study area this is our study area now let me turn this off so let me turn this uh, whole scene on so let me zoom in so let me turn our study area of this let me turn this off this color let me turn off this color so go to this geometry import uh, let me turn this off so this is our uh, sentinel 2 image So this is our Sentinel 2 image of whole scene. So now let us view our clipped version of our study area using our region of interest. Let me show you. Turn this off. Let me zoom in. So this is our clipped version of our study area. So now you can clearly able to view this. This is our clipped version of our study area. So let me turn this on. So this is our study area ROI region of interest. So now to uh, download this uh, Sentinel 2A image to your or to export uh, this Sentinel 2A image to your drive. So now go to the option called task section. Click this option. So here. So now I can clearly able to view the unsubmitted task. We have Sentinel to a image of Chennai. So to uh, up to export this uh, Sentinel to a image to your Google Drive, just click Run. So now and a Windows initiates uh, initiate image export. Task name is Sentinel to a Chennai coordinate reference system and uh, spatial resolution of 10 meters. So it has spatial resolution of 10 meters. I'm exporting now uh, my uh, exporting a sentinel to image to my drive you can also specify your drive folder and file name is sentinel to image and right? file format is geotiff so to export this sentinel to image you have to click this option uh, called run so now let me click this option run so now the export uh, that is our export to our google drives has been started so it will take around some time to export our sentinel 2 image to our drive and this sentinel image is of true color composite containing three bands 
that is red, green and blue of 10 meter resolution. So after I export it to a Google Drive, it will show it will show a symbol like like tick mark indicating it has been exported to to your Google Drive. So currently it is an exporting to our Google Drive. It, take, it will take around a half an hour to upload to export the Sentinel 2A image to your Google Drive. So in this video, I have shown you how to download our Sentinel 2A image using Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.